Just this morning, Ubiquity released a new video called Introducing Ubiquity Unify 6 Access Points, where we see some of the access points that we've already known that Ubiquity has to offer, but there are some new and exciting things that we're getting a first look at in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video, and then I'll provide some commentary on these exciting new access points and other products. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at introducing Ubiquity Unify 6 access points. Standard Star Wars intro there. Welcome to Unify 6. In this video, we will compare the four Unify 6 models of our ceiling mount form factor. The U6 Lite, Long Range, Professional, Here's the new and one. Enterprise. Enterprise. The Unify 6 Lite is a great, cost-effective way to add high-speed Wi-Fi to your home network. Ultra compact form factor. All right, so starting off with the Unify 6 Lite, I have a video on this device. This is hands down the best bang for your buck Wi-Fi access point that I have tested, meaning you get the most throughput and speed for this access point compared to the cost of the access point, which is $99 in the Ubiquity store. By the way, I'll have links for all of this stuff down in the description below. So this U6 Lite is essentially for home users. You might have one or two of these sprinkled around your home, and that's gonna be plenty for the devices and the types of streaming that most home users are going to be doing, whereas the other access points we're gonna look at are for more dense environments with lots and lots of clients connecting, like an office environment. All right, let's keep going. Powered by standard PoE and capable of 1.5 gigabits per second over the air speeds. For wider coverage in less... Notice, by the way, they say over the air speeds right there, meaning that when you have a lot of devices that are communicating on your network, the total throughput that access point can handle is 1.5 gigabits per second, but it only has a one gigabit ethernet port, right? So you'll, you're not gonna get that out to the rest of the LAN. They're saying over the air network speeds, which would be essentially devices wirelessly communicating with each other. All right, let's keep going. Dense deployments. The Unify 6 long range is powered by PoE Plus and features four stream Wi-Fi 6 capable of two points. Okay, so let's look at these stats here. PoE Plus 4x4 MIMO, that's very, very important. Again, MIMO, you can think of as lanes on a highway, right? So if you have 4x4 MIMO, you've got four lanes that cars can drive down, and the cars are your client devices. Now, a car might have a 1x1 antenna, which means it's taking up one of those lanes. It might have a 2x2 two two antenna, which means it's taking up two of the four lanes. But basically what we're talking about is stuff can be happening simultaneously in these different lanes without creating a traffic jam if you had a smaller number of lanes. All right, let's keep going. Seven gigabits per second over the air speeds and longer link distances thanks to its innovative antenna design. The Unify 6 Professional is designed for higher client density. Powered by PoE Plus, it delivers four stream Wi-Fi 6 capable of reaching five point. All right, so. Unify 6 Pro. Now I have one of these access points, but I have not yet had a chance to review it. I actually haven't even taken it out of the box yet. So I'm looking forward to this because the Wi-Fi 5 version of the professional access point was like our go-to access point for many, many, many years. Now this one says PoE Plus 4x4 MIMO 5.3 gigabit, again, over the air throughput to this device because it also only has a gigabit ethernet connection and then 300 plus clients. So that's where we're now starting to see the benefit of Wi-Fi 6 is for very dense deployments where you have a ton of clients or a ton of IoT devices or something like that that all need to be talking to a single access point. That's where these larger access points are really going to be helpful. All right, let's keep going. Three gigabits per second over the air speeds. For the most demanding deployments, the Unify 6 Enterprise is our highest performing AP designed to take advantage of Wi-Fi 6E speeds. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry I'm pausing a lot. I know that annoys people, but I have to talk about this stuff as it pops up. The first thing that they said there was that this Unify 6 Enterprise access point, is that what they're calling it, Enterprise? Yes, so Unify 6 Enterprise, 4x4 MIMO with an additional six gigahertz radio. Okay, that is Wi-Fi 6E. 
So Wi-Fi 6 can take advantage of wireless spectrum in 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz range. Wi-Fi 6E additionally opens up additional 6 gigahertz spectrum. So if we take a look at, uh, for instance, this article, what is Wi-Fi 6E? The opening of the 6 gigahertz band is the biggest spectrum addition to Wi-Fi since 1989. The jump from 5 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz might not sound like much, uh, but it essentially quadruples the amount of airwaves available for routers and smart devices. This means less signal interference. And here you can see Wi-Fi 6E, improved performance, lower latency, more super wide channels, and greater capacity. So this is Ubiquiti's first announced Wi-Fi 6E device. And look at the over-the-air throughput, 10 gigabits per second with an estimated 600 plus clients. It's also PoE plus, not PoE plus plus, which is good. So let's keep going because there's one additional feature of this new access point that I think everyone is going to gigahertz love. Gigahertz radio. It can achieve over 10 gigabits per second combined over the air throughput rates. The PoE Plus LAN port has also been upgraded to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and is optimally ah, paired with there our it is. high. So, the gigabit LAN port has been upgraded to 2.5 gigabits. Okay, which is really great because now not only are you able to achieve some of those over the air speeds of devices talking to each other, but you can also achieve 2.5 gigabits to the LAN, uh, especially when you've got multiple of these access points spread around. That is a lot of throughput for your wireless clients. Let's keep going here because they mentioned the enterprise switches, which we're going to talk Ethernet. about next. That is optimally paired with our high capacity 2.5 gigabit Ethernet enterprise PoE switches. All right, so look at this switch right here. It says enterprise, right? Let's look at the various enterprise switching options because these are relatively new. You might not have heard about these yet. Uh, they are all uh, not early access. These are all already available. We've got the Switch Enterprise 8 PoE, which is this smaller device. Notice it has the 1.3 inch touchscreen display and it has eight 2.5 gigabit ports, which are PoE plus, and then it has two 10 gig SFP plus ports. Really, really cool little switch, especially for like prosumer, small business, you know, home networks that want to take advantage of those 2.5 gigabit speeds for wireless clients. Then we have the Switch Enterprise 24 PoE, which has 12 gigabit PoE plus ports and 12 2.5 gigabit PoE plus ports, as well as the 10 uh, or the two 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. We have the Switch Enterprise XG24. This one has no PoE, but it has 24 10 gig RJ45 ports. Look at the price on this too, 1,299 bucks. And then it has two 25 gig SFP28 ports, right? So now we're getting into like more enterprise level switching. There's no one that needs this for their home, right? Uh, but for a network, for a sort of small enterprise to enterprise network, 24 10 gigabit ports plus two 25 gigabit SFPs is a really, really nice uh, kind of like core switch. Or a switch if you have, you know, like a lot of 10 gigabit devices connected. And then finally, we have the Switch Enterprise 48 PoE. This one has 48 2.5 gigabit PoE plus ports and four 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. Uh, it also has the layer three switching features. In fact, I think all of these have the layer three switching features, uh, except for the Switch Enterprise 8, uh, which again is not full layer three. Like have, they haven't fully implemented layer three on these switches yet, but you can kind of do some layer three switching or you know routing uh, within the device itself. Uh, $15.99 for the 48 port Switch Enterprise. All right, let's get back to the video here. Twitches. In addition to ceiling mounted, Unify 6 will also be available in versatile indoor-outdoor form factors. So I think this one, the U6 mesh is already available. Let's go back a step. Uh, I don't know about these other two yet. I know the U6 extender is still early access. I'm not sure if the in-wall is early access or not. In fact, let me check that out right now. Okay, so confirmed, the U6 in-wall is still actually early factors. access. The U6 mesh is the best for flexible deployments. 
indoors or out. The U6 in-wall transforms an Ethernet wall outlet into a four-port gigabit switch with a PoE port that can power your unified device, best suited for hotel and hospitality deployments. And the U6 extender is a plug-and-play mesh AP, perfect for anywhere PoE may be difficult to access. All U6 APs support Bluetooth low energy for plug-and-play connectivity with Unify IoT devices. All right, so look at that. So this is one of their sensor devices. Again, I think this is early access as well. No, I take that back. That is not early access. So this is the UP Sense Smart Sensor. I'm gonna have to pick one of these up. Uh, it's a motion sensor, magnetic entry sensor for window, for door, window open, close, accelerometer for garage open, close, temperature sensor, humidity sensor, ambient light sensor, alarm sound sensor, water sensor, uh, and then it has that BLE connectivity they were talking about that all of the U6 access points have. Uh, that's 59 bucks for this sensor device. Uh, I really want to get my hands on this to actually play around with it. All right, let's get back to the video because there's one more piece of hardware coming Including up. Including sensors and door locks. All right, so one more, there it is. The Unify Protect door lock. Again, this is early access, so I have not had my hands on it. If I have had my hands on it, I wouldn't be allowed to talk about it anyways. Uh, but that is another piece of hardware coming out. And it seems like they're kind of migrating towards not only enterprise with these enterprise switches and stuff, but also kind of migrating towards home automation as well. So I suspect that we're gonna see a larger number of these types of uh, home automation devices coming out from Ubiquiti. With the Unified Network app, U6 APs are automatically detected and quickly added to your deployment. Plan out and visualize the perfect Unify 6 deployment with Unified Design Center. And with the Signal Mapper feature for Wi-Fi Man, you can quickly create a signal map of your entire space, making it easier than ever to spot Wi-Fi dead zones. So that's an interesting feature. Now, I played around with the Signal Mapper. Uh, I will likely do a video on it here in the next week or so. Uh, so I, have, I will save all of my thoughts on this Signal Mapper for that other video. But uh, yeah, it actually is something that if you have a UDM Pro or a UDM SE, updated to the latest firmware and you have the latest Wi-Fi Man app on your phone or smart device, uh, you can now sort of walk around and map out your wireless signal throughout your house or your office or whatever floor plan you happen to be investigating. Wi-Fi dead zones. No matter the location or environment, U6 access points offer a fully scalable and customizable solution for your deployment. Unify, simplifying IT. All right, so there we go. Some exciting new stuff coming from Ubiquiti. Uh, most notably is that enterprise access point featuring Wi-Fi 6E. They're finally jumping into Wi-Fi 6E, and it also has 2.5 gigabit connectivity for the ethernet port. So really, really cool. What do you guys think about these new products coming out from Ubiquiti? Put all your thoughts down in the comments below, links to everything down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.